If you watched our video about replacing a main patio awning, you may remember that we featured a special guest, Tough Top Awnings' Ray Oberreiter. Today, we're in Vancouver, Washington, visiting Ray and his staff at Tough Top's brand new production facility. While we're here, we'll be learning how to replace the fabric on a Carefree of Colorado SOK3 slide topper, which is completely enclosed. Along with Ray, we'll be joined by another very special guest. I'm Tyler with Tough Top Awnings. Tyler Hammock is Ray's son-in-law, and he's continuing the family business as Tough Top Awnings operations manager. Besides installing a new slide topper, we're excited to announce that Ray and Tyler are offering a special discount to RV Geeks viewers. Stay tuned for more details about that after we complete the installation. First, they're going to show us how easy it is to replace the fabric on an SOK3 slide topper. You're actually watching a time-lapse video of the new fabric being produced. As soon as it's complete, we'll head out to install it. For this project, we'll need a cordless drill, a one quarter inch drill bit, silicone lubricant, and a locking filter wrench, which we'll put a link to in the video description in case you don't already have one. We'll also need the correct size Allen wrench, a couple of tall, sturdy step ladders, and a file. Since the cover hides everything inside, this slide topper might seem like a challenge to work on, but it's actually a breeze to get the cover off by simply removing a couple of screws on each side. These are the two screws you'll need to remove on the left side. And it's the same thing on the right side, with only the same two screws to remove. Start on either side of the slide by completely removing the lower screw with your Allen wrench. Then loosen the upper screw about five or six turns, but don't remove it. Now do the exact same thing on the other side. First, completely removing the lower screw and then loosening the upper screw about five or six turns. Move your ladder to the very center of the slide out, where you'll see a small metal tab. Using your Allen wrench or some other small tool, slide the tab to the left to release the cover, then flip it up on top of the slide. The cover simply pivots around the two screws that we loosened but left in place. Now you can further loosen those same two screws until they're far enough out to allow the cover to come completely off. Take the cover and put it up on the roof out of the way. If there's water on the old slide topper that you haven't already gotten rid of, now might be a good time. Unroll the old fabric off the roller. Despite what you may have heard, the spring tension is nothing that one person can't handle easily. Now clamp your filter wrench onto the roller. This will prevent it from unwinding while we replace the fabric. Remove the screws from each end of the slide topper that lock it into the track on the side of the RV. On whichever side of the roller you plan to pull the fabric out, run your quarter inch bit back and forth to widen a small section of the channel about two inches long. The drill may jump around a little bit at first, but just take it slow. Don't be concerned about drilling your roller tube. This is the standard way that installers do the job. It won't harm it a bit, and won't even be noticeable when you're done. Pull out the old fabric using the small channel you just drilled into the roller tube. File the top and then the inside edge of the channel to protect the new fabric from getting cut on any sharp edges. Aluminum is so soft that it's really easy to get it smooth. To make it easy to slide the new topper into place, spray a light coating of silicone into the tracks on both the roller tube and on the RV. And yes, it's perfectly okay to walk on top of the slide out. Now we're ready to go from this to this. Before installing the new fabric, clip the ends of the beading off so they only stick out about three quarters of an inch. Start the beading into the track on the RV and then into the roller tube through the channel you drilled out. Feed the beading down at an angle to make it easier to insert smoothly into the roller. Carefully continue back and forth, shimmying the fabric into one side and then the other, a little at a time. Once you get far enough along that you can't reach from the ladder, have one person continue to feed from below as the other pulls from above. Continue alternating between one track and the other, a little at a time. Just don't back up too far when you get close to the end of the slide. Take it nice and slow. When you get near the end, pull the last couple of feet with one person on each ladder. 
Center the fabric so that it's the same distance from each end of the tube and lies flat and square with as few wrinkles as possible. With a firm grip on the roller tube, release the filter wrench and allow the spring to tighten the fabric into place. If you lined it up properly, there will only be a few very small wrinkles. To get those out and to confirm that the fabric is positioned nice and square to the RV, retract the slide out to be sure it rolls up smoothly. Then re-extend the slide out and everything should lay perfectly flat and smooth. Reinstall the two screws that lock the topper into place on the side of the RV. One screw at each end of the slide. With one person at each end, put the cover back on and hold it in place by screwing the upper screws most of the way back in. Then flip the cover down over the roller. With our ladder back in the center of the slide, we're going to pop this spring-loaded clip back into place. Just slide it to the left, line it up with the matching bracket, and allow it to spring into place. Now the center of the cover is secured. Start the lower bolts on both sides of the topper. Then tighten all four of them with the Allen wrench. And that's how easy it is to replace an SOK3 slide topper. We have so much respect for Ray and Tyler and the integrity and quality of their products that we're really honored to call them our friends. Visit Tough Top Awnings to buy replacement slide topper and awning fabric and use the discount code RVGEEKSROCK and get a 5% discount on your entire order whether you're ordering online or over the phone. You can watch a couple of our previous videos about slide topper and awning replacement right here. And we'll put links down below in the video description for some others too. If you enjoy our videos, please give them a thumbs up, share them with friends, and subscribe to our channel. And be sure to connect with us on our website, thervgeeks.com, where you can subscribe to hear about our great RVing content giveaways, and discounts as soon as they're announced. Thanks for watching. Comes in handy on really large awnings. Take your time and roll the fabric as evenly and smoothly as you can.